హలో డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు దేవికాస్ కామర్స్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అకాడమీ సో టుడే విల్ సీ అర్థమెటిక్ మీన్ ఇన్ క్యూమ్యులేటివ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ మెథడ్ ఇన్ క్యూమ్యులేటివ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ మెథడ్ మీన్స్ జనరలీ ద ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ఈస్ నాట్ గివెన్ ఇన్ డిసార్డర్ ఇట్స్ గివెన్ ఇన్ అసెండింగ్ ఆర్ డిసెండింగ్ ఆర్డర్ ఓకే సో వెన్ ఎవర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ దేర్ క్లాస్ ఇంటర్వెల్ ఆల్సో ఇట్ విల్ బి గివెన్ బిలో ఆర్ అబౌవ్ for example in this problem below 10 below 20 below 30 like that it is given up to below 80 whenever this class interval is given in below 10 below 20 like this if you observe the frequency it will be always in ascending order it's in ascending order so we have to rechange this we have to make it in normal way so how do we make it if you focus only just for 5 minutes the rest of the problem is normal you can work out arithmetic mean right so first of all we'll rearrange the data x x is here below 10 they are saying below 10 below 10 means the difference between any of this number is here 10 right the difference is 10 10 divided by 2 10 divided by 2 it is 5 are you getting it okay so now the difference is 10 no so rather than this you can remember in very easy way so the difference is 10 okay 10 if you deduct 10 from 10 you will get lower class interval that is 0 to 10 difference is 10 right if you subtract 10 from each value you will get lower class interval lower class interval means this is lower class interval and this is upper class interval okay in the same way here below 20 if you deduct 10 means it is 10 to 20 here also if you deduct 10 why we are deducting 10 difference that is between any number difference is 10 if you keep on deducting 10 from this you are getting lower class interval that is this one in the same way 30 minus 10 20 20 to 30 here the same way here 30 to 40 like this you have to arrange the class interval uh, 50 to 60 70 to 80 so we have arranged the class interval when we have arranged the class interval frequency also you have to rearrange it because it is an ascending order any problem free, uh, cumulative frequency method is given means this x value will be below or above you'll find and uh, number of students or frequencies in ascending or descending order you have to rearrange it how do we rearrange it so i'll show you here f means frequency minimum number keep it as it is minimum number is here 15 15 will keep as it is 35 now next number will be 35 minus 15 that is 20 60 minus 35 25 84 minus 16 60 so it is 24 96 minus 84 96 minus 84 means here 6 6 16 am i right 96 minus 84 means here 6 12 it is 12 okay 96 minus 12 okay 120 let me use the calculator so here it is okay Uh, next 127 minus 96 it is 31 in the same way 198 minus 127 it is 71 then 250 minus 198 it's 52 i think minus 198 is yes, 52 if you have any doubt that whether 
your calculation is correct or not just total up and see it must be 250 okay shall we check it out 15 plus uh, this is 35 35 40 50 60 uh, 60 uh, 74, 60, 70, 84, 84, 94, 95, 96, 96 plus 31 plus 71 plus 52. It is coming to 250. It means our calculation is correct, like you can recheck it. Then after that, you know the formula of our calculation of x bar. What is the x bar formula? I will write it here x bar is equal to sigma f m by n. First what we need? Mid value m. m how do you get? Average of this 10 plus 0 10 by 2 5 like this mid value it is 15. 15 how do you got? 30 plus 10 by 2 15 the same way 25, 35, 45, 55. 65 and 75. Then after that what do we need? Fm frequency into mid value. So, I will calculate it through the calculator 15 into 5 75. I will use directly m plus 75 and 20 into 15 300. 25 into 25, 625 I think, yes, 625 and 24 into 35, 840, 12 into 45, 540, 31 into 55, 705, and 71 into 65, 4615 and 52 into 75, 3900. Total if I just press MR, I will get the total that is 12600. Got it. What else we need? If sigma FM by N, that is it. So, N is here. 250. So, formula is this if you want you can write one step sigma fm is equal to 12600 n is equal to 250. Now, apply in the formula x bar is equal to sigma fm 12600 divided by 250. 250 comes to 50.4 is the x bar. Are you getting it? So, we need to uh, draw the table properly with a scale and pencil. Problem was given like this, but we have done this, right? This is one method. There was another method also not required any one method if you follow that is more than enough. Anyway, you have to remember that x and frequency values you have to make it like this. If you remember this rest of the problem is normal. Am I clear? This is the homework for you. Okay. So, here the problem is given marks less than 10, 20 like this and frequency whenever less than means frequency is in ascending order. Rearrange it. Frequency and uh, x uh, that is class interval both you have to rearrange it just like this remember these two points then you can work out the rest of the problem am I clear so do not get scared there are many methods many small changes where you need to be very careful want to take a screenshot yes in the coming classes we will work out more problems stay connected uh, previous chapters also please do revise by the way the answer are you getting proper answer or not let me know in the comment box the more you practice you will become more perfect check out the playlist and everything is free of cost to all the student community use it and enhance your 
skills and have a bright career. Good luck.